Are they going to be alright about this? I don't see why they shouldn't. What's going on? Well, Bob and I thought we might just go out for a little day trip together. Where? Skegness. It's so bracing. Well, it will be this time of the year. <laughs> why do you want to go there? I used to go there every summer when I was a kid. I thought I'd show Viv some of my old haunts. And if I don't get out of this village for a few hours, I will go crazy. What about me? What about you? Well, I've been on half term all week. We haven't done anything together. Now you're going off with him. Well, there's uh, plenty of room in the car. Yes. Why not? Why don't you come along? That's typical, that is. Never even crossed your mind that I might want to come. Well, we're inviting you now. No, thanks. I'd rather stay here. I'll tell you what. How about I take us all out for a slap-up meal at the Wolfpack tonight? Oh, yeah. So me and Donna can sit around waiting and... Oh, oh I'm sorry about that yesterday. It's just that we got a little bit, um, distracted. It was my fault. No, it wasn't. It was mine. It was mine. Mine? Mine? mine. Well, I'm not going for any stupid meal. Donna! <sighs> Leave her, Viv. I'll talk to her. You sure you don't mind? Go on. Enjoy yourselves. Yes, Dar. <laughs> well, I hope she was grateful. I don't do this job for the thanks, you know. Well, I don't know, but you'd think after all the fuss she made, even Lady Tear show some appreciation. Well, she did in that over-the-top jolly hockey sticks kind of way of hers. I felt a bit sick, actually. <gasps> so who done it, then? Not you and all. The last time a load of Nick's stuff was returned anonymously, the best guess was the Dingles were tied up in it somewhere. No, I don't think so. Not this time. Look, I'm off. I don't know what time I finish. Catch down the woolly after work, maybe? Yeah. See ya. Oh. Hey, Paddy. I'm not talking to you. Look, I'm sorry about the car key thing. And if you weren't my cousin, I'd tell you to get lost as well. I thought you weren't talking to me. Oh, no. <laughs> it's not funny. Oh, I think you were really lousy to Gloria. She's only trying to stop you killing someone. I think you should go and make it up with her. You do not lecture me about anything. And you don't ever, ever take anything of mine from out of this house again. Do you understand? Get my pad out. Not unless you want me to tell the Home Office about you and flipping Surfer King here. Is he serious? No. Oh. I don't think so. Well, I've never seen him like this before. Yeah, well, we all hope he gets through it, but the fact is, he's a bit of a loose cannon. Oh, I don't mean to be mercenary about your cousin and all, but given the wedding and everything, we could do with knowing that he's definitely on our side. Excuse me. Donna? What? Where are you going? Why should you care? You're not still in a mood about Viv and Bob going off here. What do you think? Well, you didn't really want to be stuck in a car with them two all day. Be Puky, believe me. All the same. You've got to give Viv a chance to have some fun. It'll loosen her up a bit. It's so embarrassing. Donna, say talk to me. Don't think so. Just because I've messed up, that means you should do the same. I'll oh, just forget it. You don't even understand. What? What don't I understand? Kel, what about Dad? Oh, come on, Donna. It's nearly two years. No one will ever replace Dad. Viv knows that, but you can't expect her to go for the rest of her life without a bloke, can you? It's like she's forgotten all about him. I still think about him every day. Everyone else goes around like they couldn't care less. Donna, come here. I'll never forget you. I know. No, it's unlikely they'll be taking Garbo into surgery straight away. No, I'm afraid Mr. Kirk's off sick at the moment. It'll be Miss Tate. I'm sure he'll be better soon. I will do. Bye. Hello, Paddy. I am not off sick. We thought it would be a good idea to let you rest. And what are you doing here? Please don't make a scene, Paddy. I'm sorry, which part of get out your sack do you not understand? Zoe was going to speak to you. Oh, that's a first, even for her. My own partner ganging up against me with a flipping typist. Paddy, what's going on? A barefaced conspiracy. You had no authority to sack Gloria without consulting me. And in my judgment, Gloria was acting in the best interest of the practice. What? 
from stopping me from doing my job? Or is that part of the plan? You make it impossible for me to do my work, and then I have to sell on my shares of the partnership. You are drunk, Paddy. How long before you crash your car? How long before you kill an animal? I will not let this practice be dragged down by your ineptitude. Me? Inept? At the moment, yes. Right. Well, that's slander. And I can sue you for that. Probably. I want you to leave the surgery. Now. All right, then, well, I'll be in touch with my solicitor. You have to sort yourself out, Paddy. Get help. If you have to go away, go away. Come back on Monday. Come back in a month, but please, only come back when you can be the generous, helpful, clever, talented vet that we know and love so much. Well, I'd look because he's dead. Well, that's just melodramatic, self-pitying claptrap. Oh, stuff the lot of you. Calm down, Paddy. Hey! When you become a partner, then, and only then, do you have the right to tell me what to do. Maybe. At the rate you're going, he will be. Oh, who gives a monkeys? Never wanted to be a vet anyway. Hi. Um, actually, we're closed. And short of a vet, I see. No, we really are closed, so if you don't mind... No, I'm not here with an animal. Oh, then you've probably come to the wrong place. Are you Zoe Tate? Yes. Bev Mansfield. I'm teaching over at Hotton Comp. Can you make it quick? I can try. Alan. Double whiskey, please. This sounds a good idea. Well, all right, then I'll have a single. And another room for my friend who's going to be here in a minute. You can have a pint. And if you want any more, I expect to see you eat a meal as well. Tell me what I can eat and what I can drink. It's up to you, Paddy. I don't have to serve you at all if I don't want to. I'll stuff you and all and I'm off down the malt shovel. First day back, next Monday, careers talk nicely organised with the editor of The Hot and Courier. But then this morning, disaster. He cancels, which leaves me with a gaping great big hole in my timetable and the prospect of a double period with 12 cynical and diffident 15-year-olds, plus me wittering on at them about not very much, probably. So then I'm walking past this place and I think, aha! I know, very cuddly, ill things that you cut open to make better. That'll get their aspirational synapses firing. Well, I would describe veterinary practice as cutting open furry, cuddly, ill things. Then how would you describe it? Uh, Q1 careers talk. You got it. Monday. Mm-hmm. Ten o'clock. You're tied up, Zoe. Mm, well, Adam isn't, are you, Adam? No. I suppose not. They'll love you. Ah. I Will you put a sock in it? Watch me wrist. Do I really want to know about this? Well, them cans. Fed them to pigs in the end. Or an hour and a half with tin opening. Does your wrist in, I'm telling you. Get that. Who wants it? I want to search these premises. But it's not here. What's not here? No, nothing, Sam. I think the thievers need to have a little chat. Far away. Down the station. What? I, I ain't done that. You are Sam Dingle. Maybe. Sam Dingle, Keen Dingle, you're wanted for questioning in connection with an armed robbery in Hotton on Wednesday the 25th of October. Armed robbery? You what? And if you're thinking of trying something stupid, I'll tell you we've got another two men out the back, so you won't get very far. Oh, Ken! This is rubbish. So are you coming? Or do we have to stay? We don't have to go anywhere. <sighs> I've no alternative but to arrest you. Ken Dingle, I'm arresting you on suspicion of armed robbery. You do not have to say anything, but it may harm your defence if you do not mention when questioned something that you later rely on in court. Anything you do say may be given in evidence. Do you understand that? What about you, son? Come on. I think you do. 
The first I knew about any armed robbery was when your bunch of guerrillas started turning me uncle's house over. Let's see if we can jog your memory then. The mini market on Lyle Street, Wednesday afternoon about 2.35. Don't even know where that is. So where were you? The suspect declined to answer. Look, I've told you. I'm not from round here. I don't know where I was. Walking round somewhere. So you were in Houghton? I suppose. Anyone with you? Sam. How long since he came out of this? Six months. History of violence. <laughs> Sam don't do armed robberies. But you do. Get lost. He seems pretty up tight to me. You don't want to believe anything he says. Unless, of course, you want to start talking. In which case, you might just save him from a, how shall I put it, an upsetting experience. This is such a joke. You haven't even found anything in the house, have you? You haven't got any evidence. You're just piddling in the wind. I could do you for false arrest. One of our officers saw you at the back of Lyle Street at 2.25pm. That's ten minutes before the robbery. Well, they need their eyes testing, don't they? Cos it weren't me. I don't think so. She's got 20-20 vision. If she says she saw you, then she saw you. She? One of our officers. <laughs> so something funny here? No. Just something I read in the Beano. Can you help me with this dog food? Baskets are over there. No, I want all these tins off this shelf. Battle's favourites. I can't do them all on my own. And I'll have four packets of those doggy treats. Oh, and four packets of my usual boil sweets. And I'll have that chewy bone. Is that for you or the dog? Hmm. Going away? No. Special occasion? <sighs> If I choose to buy in large quantities, it does not give you the right to pry into my private affairs. I'm only making conversation. Just be grateful that by doing so, I am inflating your profits. Oh, I am. I am. Now, how much is that? And I've counted those tins, so no funny business. But my officer saw you on Lyle Street ten minutes before the robbery. I don't know what street it was. So you went at the scene of the robbery? We weren't armed, I swear it. This CCTV tape says you were. I told our can they'd be cameras. Two mass men! Oh, they had me odd up. Two shotguns! Why would we have guns to nick a load of tins? What? Nothing. Just tell me about the stuff you nicked. We didn't. It's too late for that, Sam. We've got all in tape. I mean, it's not as if they were on the shelves or out. You're losing me. The tins. Tins? Tins. Cat food, rice pudding, al alphabet spaghetti. Where was this? I told you I don't know the street. Where were these tins? In the back of the GK supermarket, in the big yellow thing that they put rubbish in. The skip? That's it. You took a load of tins out the back of the skip at GK supermarket? On Wednesday afternoon? Was Kane with you? What is our day? All afternoon. They could kill me. Where are these tins now? Fed them to pigs. Please don't put me back inside. Coming through! Hello! We're home! Hi, I have a good day. What's that? It's for you. Oh. What do you say? Thanks. Right, we've got mugs, we've got hats, we've got rock, and these. What is it? Just a little something. It's beautiful. Mm. Thanks, Viv. Right, who's up for some nosh? I am. Well, Donna, that's great. I'm, I'm sorry, Joe. It's not been much fun around here lately. Yeah, I want to help him, but I suppose after a while it just gets a bit annoying. Yeah. 
Well, he's not going to be back till after last order, so we might as well hang round here and then he can make a run for it about 11. Oh, this is crazy. And we can't stand to be here because of him, and he can't stand to be here because of Mandy. How do you mean? Well, I never met the woman. But just look at this place. She's in my head like a migraine every time I open my eyes. I mean, what shade of green is that in there? I mean, is it legal? I mean, no wonder the guy's going crazy. You know, you are a genius. What did I say? No, just, just don't move. Where, where are you going? Well, how are you with a paintbrush? <laughs> On your way. Loser. Hey, Dingo! What? I'd watch your mouth if I were you. It's only a matter of time before you're back in here again. You don't want to be making an enemy of me. You really don't. Come on, Sam. Move it. Have what you like. It's on me. Thanks. Right, sir. You ready to order? Hi, Mark. Bob, do you know who this is? Mom? Go on, Donna. Introduce Mark to Bob. Look at him. Do you have a few more minutes? Oh, don't you go running off Mark Reynolds. Bob, this is Mark, Donna's boyfriend. Mark, Bob. Mm. He's a new boyfriend. Am I? Well, I think you are, don't you? Mm. <laughs> Mom! <laughs> it's all right, Mark. I know what I want. Great. Hey, and don't worry, son. I'll definitely believe in your tip. It's something like, no tongues on a first date. Get <laughs> it? <laughs> Hey, not bad. Yeah, it's just leftovers from me and Lisa's last job. <laughs> Better than that exorcist green. Exorcist green? <laughs> <laughs> oh, Joe. <laughs> Another good reason for painting over it. Yeah. Come on, I want to get this finished before Paddy gets back from the pub so we can't argue about it. Ah, he'd probably be too drunk to even notice. Yeah. So is this what you'd do if we ever split up? What? Well, you know, just paint me out your life forever. I'll paint all over you right now if you don't shut up. Uh, get off! That's <laughs> on! My compliments to the chef on his gatox. Do you want any coffee? Big and frothy, my man! <laughs> I'm going to talk to Terry. I know you're unhappy, but drowning your broken heart in the bottom of an ale glass isn't going to make things any better. So I'll tell me, Diane. You tell me what I'm supposed to do to make the pain go away. If you're so clever. Go on, Paddy. Will you do that for me? Come on. Can't work my mouth sometimes. No, oh, you and me both. What she bought me. Very nice. She really tried to do the right thing. And now look at her. <laughs> you all right? <laughs> I'm really sorry, Mark. I thought my parents were embarrassing. <laughs> <laughs> nice day. <laughs> what would you know about it? Well, it gets around. Pull the stuff like that again and I'll kill you. Oh, come on, Kane. You're not telling me that's the first time you've been pulled in for a bit of rough questioning. And Sam? What about him? What about him? He might be a useless divad. He never deserved what happened to him today. Good. Well, if he cares so much about your cousin, maybe next time you'll be a bit more <coughs> choosy about who you mess around with in the future. Cos believe me, Kane, what happened today? Just for starters. Fine. If that's the way you want it. Just remember one thing. This is between me and you. Okay? I don't think we're gonna get this all done, Jace. Yeah, maybe we'll just finish this wall and then we can make it look nice when Paddy gets back. Paddy! Interfering, selfish, mean-minded, total idiot! 
What the hell have I done for you? Don't blame Jace. It was my idea, really. Well, I'll go see you in Nobs on. I was trying to help. But I don't know what to do to help you, Paddy. You can get out of my house for a start. I don't want to see either of you ever again. You don't want to do this, Paddy. Shut up. Get out. There's, you don't get want to out. fall out with Jason over a bit of paint. <laughs> I love these walls. You don't. You just think you do. Don't tell me what to think, or what to feel, or what to drink, or what to eat, or how to do my job, or whether I should drive or not, or to go to the toilet, or flipping pick me nose, or anything! I'm miserable. And I'm drunk. All right. I should be allowed to be that way. This is some new law that no one's told me about. Maybe we should have asked you, yeah. <laughs> but you've been so difficult to talk to the last few days. Give me that. What did you think you were doing? How do you think I'm going to get it through to your thick skull? I love these walls. I love them. And do you want to know why? Because they remind me. <laughs> they remind me of a... Uh... Oh, Paddy, don't! <laughs>